I believe, investigator, that we're wasting time here trying to get to the bottom of a pointless case while one of our best pilots is in intensive care. You're digging for information that's readily available, but none of this is helping her to recover. This investigation is not concerned with Pilot Vance's current medical condition, only the events which led up to the failure of the mission. Fisher sucked air through his teeth, the leftovers of his lunch distracting him for a moment. It was obvious he was eating well, as most of the investigators did, while countless people starve in the exclusion zones every day. The smug bastard grinned at me then, because he knew I was more than a little upset about what happened to Vance during that last flight. The events leading up to the failure of the mission. Where should I begin? I stood up, placing both hands on the desk between us, and I guess it surprised him a little, because he backed away ever so slightly. When the sky ships first started bombing us, should I skip forwards to more recent times when all of your bureaucratic red tape got so thick, when all of you investigators made careers for yourselves by stopping any of the rest of us from doing what we could to end this war? I could be on the front right now, but your investigation's holding me, holding all of us, for that matter, back. I cracked my knuckles then, just for effect. Mad as I was, I figured it would help get my point across. Relax, Pilot Summers. This is merely an introductory meeting. These are just simple questions. There's no need to react in such a manner, implying physical violence as you are. You know, I'm sure such actions would be a terrible mistake on your part. We're just trying to improve the way that future missions are handled. You'll be back in your hangar bay by sunset. I cooled off a little then and sat back in the chair. It wasn't good to lose your temper with the investigators, especially when that's all they really aimed to get you to do anyway. 